Hi, everyone. Welcome back to our podcast. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm Bridget, and my company is Shift One Degree. And I'm Dana, and I'm from Big Dad Consulting. And we decided we're going to keep up and still pick about like um, attitude because, you know, it's really a lot about a mindset. And -hmm. if we need to make sure that we are thinking the right way and we're changing our mind, and if I'll go to the first one, is that like, you know, change the way you think. Um, Because a lot of the time, like in the situation, we are in the situation. There's nothing we can do to actually change it. And like mm-hmm. we see like what happened in different country countries and no one really knows what's gonna happen and everyone it's like a like a their trial in it. So you know, so be the change that you wanna be. See where you wanna take yourself, make the changes that you want to, you know. It's all about here, and I keep repeating the same like formula that I use, event plus reaction equal to the outcome. This is the event that happened. The way we're gonna react to this is gonna lead to the outcome. Do you agree with me? Yeah, and I think just to tie in that with the response to to change is that like you know I'm busy uh, doing a blog on environment and I'm kind of you know it's it's kind of a bit of a double edge because on the one hand you chose your environment that you're going to be in for lockdown but then again it extended and how much choice did you have within that you know there isn't freedom within that because you have to stay somewhere you have to do something so yeah so it really is about getting your attitude right whatever your Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, you just have to kind of adapt to that and respond to where things are currently. Yes. Before you move to the second one, you can guys feel free to share like and say who's with mm-hmm. us and like what do you do to change your attitude? We're just giving you different tips on how you can change your attitude, but feel free to share with us. And if you agree or disagree, it will be our suggestion. Absolutely. So the other one is about forgiving the limitations of others. And that sounds quite judgmental. But what what is meant by that is that we all have a different perception and we all see things very differently. Like I'll give you an example. Like for me, okay, I love I love running. It's something that I love to do. But if I see somebody else running, I'm not going to name and shame them. I'm not going to take a photo, put it on Facebook and go, oh my gosh, you can't believe it. My neighbor went running. I don't care. People must do what they need to do. So for me, that's kind of like, you know, but I don't want to judge, uh, judge other people if that's what they want to do. So for me, that's how I see that, is that, you know, don't limit yourself by by judging other people. Just stand strong in who you are and what you believe true for you. I think, like, in general, don't limit yourself, you know. Like, some people say the sky is the limit. No, the sky is not the limit. It's way more than that. It's, like, it's mm-hmm. all in your mind. What you decide to do, you can do. And don't look what others are doing. Because what's yep. working for you is not necessarily going to work for you. And you can also, like, if I'll take the example of the running that you said, like, we cannot judge. Some people are really not capable to stay in one place. And that's mm-hmm. what they need for their mental health. So why be, like, you know, judging each other and trying to do something negative to the other one focus on focus on yourself do what's right for you change your attitude don't look about what others doing take care of what you do absolutely yeah and if we go to number three is that we keep saying it just just become the solution core you know be that good to person and i really love it because it's really going to change your attitude it doesn't matter what type of business you've got this is the perfect time for you to start building your own community on social media. And to do it, to become their go-to person. And it doesn't matter what type of business, really. Like, even if you do, like, um, cosmetics and you cannot be now with your clients, but give them tips. Give them something that they can do at home by themselves until they're going to come and see you. Uh, from different industries as well. Just, you know, if you consult and you can still try to give lots of tips and become their go-to person, if you're going to do it now, you're going to benefit lots of it Mm -hmm. in the future. Um, So, again, if you agree with us, just write in the comments, yes, no, what do you think, how you do things, we really, really appreciate it. Yeah, and I think with that, when when you are giving a few, like, tips and you're sharing some ideas, which is very relevant to where we are at the current moment. I think that also that that adds such value because you're not asking for anything in return. You're just saying, look, we're all in this situation. I'm an expert at whatever that is, and maybe try this, you know, and that, that might help somebody. So yeah, it's it's never a waste to add to add value. 
And also, and the, like, don't forget that a lot of people are online now. So if you're yeah. trying to build a business, if you're trying to get yourself to be considered as a professional, there's mm -hmm. a great opportunity for you. Because I can say that even we can feel the difference about, like, the response that we get from people. And I do lots of webinars. And I can see it helps. So I've got nothing to lose by sharing my knowledge. If someone wants to, you'll find a way to come and work with me after. But in the meanwhile, people are stuck. They stuck it also in a negative mindset. So why can, can you not just help and share your knowledge and help them to understand not only that you're their go-to person, but also encourage them to do something different. Encourage them to actually get out of the couch and do something, even if you like a sport instructor. It's a great opportunity for you to just share like, and give people different exercises to do, uh, what to do at home, and like just do it, you know, share it. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, so the last one is to expect the best from all situations. And for me, that really ties into this because like, I think the first few weeks um, are kind of more doable. I think the longer the time goes on, the harder that it gets because it becomes like a bit of a mind game. You know, you feel, you feel that it's the same routine, but you feel like a little hamster because it really is. You're in your cage. And then you're kind of on your wheel. You're not really on your wheel, but maybe you've created a little wheel in your parking lot or whatever. But, you know, you're just kind of in this cage and you you can't get out. And I think all of us are starting to feel like, okay, when can we get out? You know, just to have a change of scenery, a change of routine. Um, so I think if you can look at the situation and go to countdown, it's not long now. And, like, just make the best of every single moment. I think that might help just for your I mental so I think if I look at myself and I know that probably people can hate me for this, but I don't know, maybe it's my mindset that I've decided to see the positive in everything. And like for me, I know that this is the situation. I'm listening to the news. I see what happens in other countries. Even now when they're trying to go back to routine, it's going to take a long time for us uh, mm. to go back to a normal routine. So yeah. in my mindset, um, I keep on saying that, you know, like, this is it. I've built and created my own routine. So I'm mm -hmm. kind of not like losing it because I've got my routine. I get up in the morning. I always dress. I'm glad that I have this podcast and webinars so I can put a bit of makeup and feel pretty with myself. And I'm like, got my yoga that I do in the afternoon. I really build a routine for myself. And that's nice. And I see Nikki yeah. here saying that gratitude is also helps a lot. And that's true. Because yeah. it is. You know, you have to be grateful. We, a lot of us are like being like a big grumpy day. We cannot see the beach and we cannot see uh, friends and things like that. But we need to be grateful, you know, for a lot of things that we have. That like today is the memorial day for the Holocaust in Israel. Yeah. And, uh, the stories there. And people are saying like, you know, that they needed to hide and starvation and they need to hide like jewelry in the bread and stuff like that so they can buy. And people were dying like flies because just of not having food so we are locked down in lockdown but we like most a lot of us are in a house with a tv and food. And all that yeah. Food. so yeah so maybe not always a delivery maybe you cannot see the beach but it's only like limit for like this period of time so make the most out of it and there's a lot of we could do and we can just gonna sum it all up it's like you know respond to the change there is yeah. something moving here this is like the online also it's part of the change. Now, this is the new trend. You can either adopt this new trend on the being online or you're going to be back in the back. Like, and again, and again, like if you look at Nokia and Kodak, those are companies that are not willing to adjust the changes and look yeah. where they are now. It's so, really adopt, really. the change and in mm. the way that you want to be. Do you want to add on that? And then the second one is to give the, lim the limitations of others. And that's literally just saying, you know, like, Let's stop judging and pointing fingers at other people. Just mind your own business. <laughs> and I mean, <laughs> just do the best that you want to do and let people just be, just do what you need to do for you and let other people just do what they need to do for them. Yeah. yeah but don't focus on what others are doing. It's not your life, you know? A lot of exactly. times we think about other people, it's like, oh, I really want to have what they're having. You actually don't really know what they have. You know, yeah. it's like always judging and especially with the social media, we all see like what they're sending to the outside, but it doesn't mean that this is like really like happy, happy, like you think. So don't focus on that, focus on yourself. Yeah. Um, 
And the third one is just become their go-to person. You know, be their guru. Make sure that you are giving them the information that they need, that you're encouraging them, that you are there for them, that they know who to come to when they yeah. need an advice in the field segment that you are in. Absolutely. And the last one is expect the best from all situations. And I think that this is the perfect one to be in because where we are now, like there's a lot of there's a lot of good that, that is going to come from this. There's no question around that, you know. So I think with all this self-reflection and the meditation and the reading that we're all getting to do, hopefully we're going to come out better people. I think we are. If you look at like, I don't know, like maybe you can also share from yourself, but some of the people that I speak to, I can see in a lot of them that they're making some changes and positive changes in their life. It took them a while. Totally. You know what's been interesting for me though is that, People that I don't that I don't currently have a very strong relationship with, you know, like a, they're not close to me, um, and then suggesting to like, you know, start kind of building that relationship now online, doing you know Skype calls or Zoom calls or whatever. And my response has been, if I don't have a relationship with you currently, I'm not going to start building with you on like online. I'm just kind of not, you know. But the ones that I have got, it's just building, intensifying those relationships. But for me, it's not going to start happening during lockdown because why wasn't it there beforehand, you know? So that's kind of where I'm at on that. Yeah, but it's also like it's a great opportunity to meet new people. So I can say if I look at myself, I met so many different people recently from different countries and everyone sharing their experience and their knowledge. So it's also very nice for this to use, you know, and expand mm -hmm. yourself and build again, like build the community yeah. Yeah, but that depends on what kind of relationship we're talking about. We're talking like, I'm, I'm talking more like sort of on a friendship side. I'm not talking, like on a business side, absolutely. But that's a very different type of relationship. I mean, like sort of distant friends that you kind of see, kind of have a rapport with. We're not going to start building that now. That's kind of what I'm saying. But no, on the business side, absolutely. You can build loads and build a network. And I mean, I've got my uh, coffee confidence meetup uh, the first Thursday of every month. So I'm going to be doing that online. I know you do a webinar, so yeah, absolutely. I do your uh, networking for for me. It was nice. That's why I say, like, it's a matter of like change the attitude. Because yes. on a daily, like on once a month, I cannot come to the ones that you are hosting. So it was yeah. a nice way for me to join it online and then meet new people. So do it. You know, find the different groups, find the yeah. different activities, and really change your mindset. You know, think of look at the things that are positive, and be grateful for what you've got. Yeah, and just put yourself out there as well, you know. I think that's just so a big thing. So we are, we're going to do another one on Friday just because of lockdown. It's like a perfect opportunity just to engage with everybody. And we're going to be talking about commitment. And I think commitment can be in, in everything. Commitment to a good attitude, commitment to healthy habits, whatever. But, yeah, we're going to be talking about commitment. And if there are topics that you're interested in and that you want us to have, like, and even, like, to prepare for, like, a video that you can guys come and ask questions, like, as experts and stuff like this, so just feel free to comment below or send us a private message and be here yeah. and we're really trying to, you know, just be there and share and spread, like, the positive mindset and how we can actually benefit the most out of this situation. Absolutely. Have a great rest of the week, everyone. Bye. Bye.